This is Dr. Ahmed Al Faris. Today we are going to continue talking about reflection, refraction, and diffraction generally in waves and specifically in, in water waves today, inshallah. Question number five was one of the homework from last uh, class. Okay, a water wave in a tank travels from a region where the speed of the wave is faster into the region where the speed is slower. So they tell us that their change in medium from one to another, okay? So from fast region to slow region. And I told you to remember the six S's. What are the six S's? Yalla, tell me. In shallow water, what will happen to the speed? Yeah, tell me, send it to in the chat. What will happen to the speed in shallow water? It will be? It will be, yes, exactly. It will be slower. Shukran, yeah. Muhammad, Marwan, Ibrahim, Salma. Okay. The wavelength will be? What happened to the wavelength? The wavelength will be? Will be longer or shorter? Yes, shorter, smaller, shorter. Okay. Tamam, shorter. So here, slower. Here, shorter, the velocity is slower, the wavelength is shorter. The angle, huh? the angle will be, the angle will be smaller. Yes, bravo. Okay. The frequency, what about the frequency? Uh -huh. Shukriya Marwan. Huh? Who else? What about the frequency? Exactly, Muhammad. Ibrahim, check. Remember the words. Ah. Salma, thank you. Sah. It will be same. Exactly. Same frequency. So that's in where? In shallow water. Shallow water, the speed becomes slower, the wavelength becomes shorter, the angle becomes smaller, but the frequency remains the same. And it bends huh, towards or away from the normal. It bends towards the normal, okay? So this is the S's that I'm talking about, okay? So S, 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 okay? Tamam. So let's continue. The figure below, it's one quarter the scale. The diagram shows that the, the, the wave fronts in the region, the speed, okay, is fast. Take measurements from the scale, okay, in the previous figure. Okay, above to determine the wavelength of the wave that travel in the fast region. Now, some of you, what they did, they measure this distance and they multiply this distance by how much? By four. Now, actually, I, I need to be accurate here, okay? So I will not do that. I will not measure this distance. What I will do? Who can tell me? Yes. Who can tell me what are the distance that I need to know? How is the wavelength? How long is the wavelength? Okay, I will multiply it by four, but which one? Which distance? Is this the wavelength? Yes, it is the wavelength. And this is also what? Another wavelength. And this is what also? A third wavelength, a fourth wavelength, a fifth wavelength, etc. So why I, I, it's, I, it's, I don't measure the whole thing here? The whole list thing, okay, for example, five, okay, and divided by five, then multiply by four. Or div but, uh, yes, thank you, Ibrahim. I measure the whole thing, divide by six, because we have six waves. Now, for example, okay, if some of you may be, be uh, very smart and said, okay, it's multiplied by four. Why I don't measure the whole four waves? This, cause this is the wavelength directly. Okay, so yes, it's your choice. And because each one of you has different printer, so maybe this picture we, you printed in different scales, maybe bigger, maybe smaller, but we have a range, okay? There is a range of the accepted answer. Okay, some of you send me 0.6, some of you send me 0 0.5, 0 0.6, so it depends. If I measure the whole length here, if I measure the whole length from here to here, all of them, I have one, two, three, four, five, six waves. Then I divide the whole distance here, okay, by how much? Don't, don't scratch on the paper, don't scratch. Okay, don't draw on it. 
Then I divide the whole length, okay? Divide by what? We divide by six or divide by four or divide by five. It depends from where to where did you measure. If you measure the whole of these, I have only one, two, three, four, five, six wavelengths. So I divide by six. Then I multiply the product, the answer, by how much? By the scale, which is what? Which is four, okay? So that's why we have several answers and there is range of the accepted answers. <clears throat> I don't know what's the accepted answer, but let's say that uh, I saw a lot of your answers. I saw 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.7. It's a wide range, it's not accepted, okay? In the external, all of you, you will have the same scale. You have the same paper, the same size of it, okay? Mashi? So I will measure the, this distance, for example. I will call it L. So I will divide L by six and the product I will multiply it by what? By four and the answer I will write what? In centimeters. Good? Not in mine is your correct. All of you are correct, okay? But you have different scales. Maybe the printer is not the same size, okay? Muhammad, Ibrahim, Marwan, all of you, you have different printers. You don't print in the, by the same printer, okay? But in the external, the same printer, same size. Next, the speed, uh, we need this answer. We need this answer. L let's pick a value. How, how much do you want? Yell, send me answers. Muhammad, send me 0 0.5. Marwan, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7. Muhammad, Maratani. Okay, let's say that I'll write 0 0.6 centimeter, okay? Mashi? That Let's agree that this is our answer, okay? Any question? Type 0 0.6 or 0 0.60 centimeter. Next part, what do they ask? The speed in the fast region is 0. Point how much? 39 meters per second. Calculate the frequency. What's the formula that link frequency with the speed? Is there is a formula between speed and frequency? Yeah, send me that, that formula. Speed equal frequency multiplied by what? Wavelength. Ah, yes. Why you wrote 0 0.6, but in actual it is uh, 2.4? I don't know. They, 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 they send me the answer. Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, is the whole zero. length, hold on, hold on. How much did you measure the whole length in here? This one. How much is the whole length here? 3.8. Okay, so let's say 3.8 or four centimeters. Divide by six, how much? Multiply by four. Why I multiply by four? Because I need to put it on the scale and they say that each one centimeter represent four centimeters. Okay, if you did this, how much did it get? Oh, let me use the, uh, the mobile, okay? 3.8 divided by six equal- 2.5. Okay, 2.5. Manato, let's, uh, uh, my mistake, let's put another value here. Huh. Okay, so some of you say it's six. Why six? I divide by six waves. One wave, two waves, three waves, four waves, five, six waves. Okay, Salma, is it clear now? It's your choice. You can measure four waves, one, two, three, four, and you say, oh, so this, is, this is the wavelength because there is a scale by multiply by four, it's your option, okay? Fine. Some of you said me it's, it's not 3.8, it's four centimeter, yes? Some of you said me it's uh, 2.5 centimeter. No problem, no problem, huh? Okay, four centimeter. It depends on the printer that you have, four centimeter. Okay, so four times four, it's uh, 16 divided by six, it's what, 2.5, okay? Accepted? Huh. Four times four equal divide by six, and the answer is 2.7 hmm. It depends on the scale that you put it. It doesn't matter, okay? Good, okay. Now, next question. Why four? Because they say that the scale here is four. Okay, good. 
for each one centimeter, it represents four centimeters. Uh, how much is L? Measure it. You, you have your ruler. You measure it. I don't know. Shabab, Shabab, hold on, hold on. Ah. I want from you to use your ruler, all of you. Use your ruler and tell me how long is this length. Now, send me the answer. How much is the length here? The whole length of this value. Measured from the first wavefront to the last wavefront. Okay. Now, some of you send me four. Some of you send me 3.8. Some of you send me another four. Huh? Well, who else? Okay. Helena, huh? 4.2. Shaifin. You are talking about the same question, but different printers. In NASA, into Kulwah Ramil print out from different printers. That's why some of you has bigger scale, some of you has smaller scale. Okay. What's that? Okay. Most of you send me four, four, four. Khas. So that's why I said what? I said four here. The length here is four centimeter. I divide by six waves. One, two, three, four, five, six waves. Okay. So I divide by six and I multiply it by the factor, which each one centimeter represent four centimeter. Okay. Good. So if we do that by calculator, 16 divided by uh, six, it will be 2.666, that means 2.7. Any question? You, measure, you can measure one, but you will not be accurate. You can measure one, okay, but you will not be accurate. Ta, you are welcome. Okay, let's move on. So, the speed of the wave in the fast region is 0 0.39. Okay, they ask about the frequency. So the frequency, which is equal to the speed divided by wavelength, which is equal 0 0.39 divided by 2.7 centimeter. Okay, now here they give you the, the unit in what? In meters, so you cannot write it in centimeters. So you have to convert it from centimeter to meter. So what it will be? It will be 0 0.027. So, and by using calculator, if we did this, how much? Point to 39 divided by 0 0.027, it will be 14.4. 14.4 watt hertz. Okay. Good. Every year they bring question about this formula speed equal frequency multiplied by wavelength. Let's move on. On the same previous figure, draw lines that indicate the position of the wave front. Okay. No problem, Ibrahim. Yes. Okay. Uh, indicate the position of the wave front. Okay. Of the water wave in the slower region. Okay. Now, here we have two choices. Okay. It will not be straight line. Okay. It will not be straight line. It will be curved like this. Okay or in the opposite direction. So let me, okay, show you two different drawing, okay? One with the green color, okay? And one with, for example, red color. And you will tell me which one is the correct answer. Is the, this was your homework, yes. Is the green color correct or is the red color correct? Yes, tell me, send me the correct answer. Is it? No, it's a straight line, okay? Yes, is the green or drawing or the red drawing? Okay, shukran Marwan, shukran Ibrahim, shukran Muhammad, who else, huh? Now look here, the wavelength, the wavelength, uh, it's obvious. The, the wavelength here, it was small and here it becomes big if I draw the red. And the red, it's not correct because they said in slower region, so the wavelength is supposed to be smaller. 
So the answer is not the red, it's what is the green. And I have to draw it what? In a straight lines, okay? So if I want to draw it, okay, I will use, okay, uh, for example, like this. Over, okay, uh -huh. yes, this one. And I will draw it like this. Of course, it will be by using ruler and it would supposed to be straight lines parallel to each other, but the angle, as you can see, it's what exactly the angle here, it was big and the angle here, it's what small, why it's small because it goes to the slower region. So which one is the correct answer? The green, not the red. Tamam? Only a small angle, yes. Only what a small angle. Okay. Any question? Like this. I'm not going to draw it like this. I'll draw it as I draw it here. Okay. This is the software program. Exactly on the point of intersection, you will what? You would continue the what? You would continue what? The line. Okay. Good. Okay. So we, what we did here, we did question number five, A, B. Let's go to region part C. State. That means you already know the answer. State what happens to the frequency of the water wave as it passes the slower region. Shukran Ibrahim, yes. Shukran Salma. Marwan, yes. All of you, correct. Stay, stays the same. The frequency remains the same, doesn't change. Shukran Muhammad. What about you, Hazem? Sidra. I didn't hear from you a long time ago. Yalla, participate with us. Okay. Fine. Question number six. The figure below shows uh, what circular wave fronts produce from the center of a circular ripple tank. Here, this is the point, and we have what these ripples, and we have ripple tank, and the wave spreads out in all directions equally. Okay, and we have two corks, as you can see, and the wavelength is how much? How much is the wavelength? Eight centimeter, and we have two corks. One of them, it's on this point, okay, which is uh, let's, uh, the wave front, which is a crest, and the other one, it's in the middle point between crest to another crest or between wave front to another wave front. Two cocks A and B are uh, float on the water of the ripple tank. They move, they vibrate up and down. Okay? On the surface of the water wave at the pass as the wave passes. The wavelength of the wave is eight centimeters. The figure below shows how the displacement of A varies with time. The displacement of A varies with time. It goes up and down only two millimeters. Okay. State that means you only you know the answer. State the amplitude of the vibration of A as the wave passes. How much is the amplitude? Yeah, send me the answer. How much is the amplitude? This is the amplitude. How much is the amplitude? Exactly, it's exactly it's two millimeters. Shukran. So I'll write 2.0 watt millimeter. Okay, because from where I get it, here. This is two, and this is the unit in millimeter. The maximum point up or the maximum point where down, how much the displacement from equilibrium position. This is the amplitude from here to here, or from here to here, from equilibrium position to the maximum point up or to the lowest position where down. Part B, on the same, what the, uh, the, horizontal, sorry, the horizontal distance between A and B, it's half wavelength. So the distance from here to here, it's half wavelength, okay? On the same previous figure, sketch the graph to show how the displacement of B varies with time. Now, if I want to draw, 
how, how the displacement of B varies with time, since it is half the wavelength, that means if A on this line, on the wavefront, okay, if A is on the wavefront, that means A, it's on the crest, for example, okay? If A is on the crest, that means B, it's somewhere between, in the middle, halfway. So if A is on the crest and the wave line is on the crest and we are talking about half wavelength, that means it will be where? B, it will be in which position now? On the trough. So how, how come I'm going to draw B? I'm going to draw B, what? Same as this one, as period, same frequency, doesn't change, but only it will be in the opposite direction like this. Why in the opposite direction? Because I told you, if A was on the crest, and B is halfway from it, that means it will not be on the crest, it will be on the trough. And B is farther than A. So I will not draw the same amplitude, I will not draw two, I will draw a little bit what, less than what, two, like this, okay? I have to draw as accurate as possible, I'm not draw that accurate here, okay? Try to be Can as accurate as possible. Again? I will explain it again. Okay, now what we did here, okay. We, they tell us that the distance between A and B, it's half wavelength, okay? So that means if this line represents a crest and A is on it, on the crest, okay? And this, another wavefront represent another crest. So this is the crest and this is the crest. B, it will be where? In the middle, half of it exactly in the middle. So that means if A is on the crest, on the top, B, it will be where? In the bottom. So if this is crest, 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 that means exactly in the middle, okay? Exactly, in the middle. let me change the color. Exactly in the middle between the crest and the crest, there is what? Trough. So that's why B, it will not be on the top, it will be on the bottom, okay? And vice versa. Good. Now, for example, uh, uh, these are A and B, and let's assume that there is another, a third cork, okay? And this third cork, it was somewhere here, okay? Somewhere here, here. Let's call it C, okay? Now, this cork is C, and it's very far, and it's still on what? On uh, the wavefront. That means it's on, on the crest. So if I want to draw C, I will draw it exactly as A, but what? Very small amplitude. Why very small amplitude? Because it's far, so the amplitude decreases with the distance. Okay, good. Tamam? Uh, okay, inshallah. Next. Use the same previous figure to determine the frequency. How can we determine the frequency? Yes, how can we determine the frequency from the graph? Yes, how did you know, Muhammad? it's two hertz? Bravo. Over P. Exactly, the frequency, okay, it's equal one over what T or what number of vibrations divided by time. So how long is the period, the period is half second. From here to here, that's a one complete wave, okay? How long it is, it is half second. Or you can say that I have wave, two waves and a half, and I can say, yes, 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 bravo, bravo, yes. So you can say one divided by half, or you can say 2.5 waves divided by how long? divide by 1.25. In both situations, okay, I'll still get the same answer, which is two Hertz, okay? So what I did here, I can use any formula, okay? You can say that uh, frequency equal one over period. I find the period from the graph, okay, which is half. So I said one over half, okay? and I get the correct answer, which is two, or, or if you don't want to use this formula, you can say frequency equal number of vibrations 
divided by two, okay? And you will say that we have, how many waves here? We have wave and two and a half waves. So the number of vibrations is 2.5 waves, okay? Divided by the time, which is how much? 1.25 and also you get the same what? The same answer. So it's your choice in the exam how you think about it, okay? So 2.5 waves over 1.25 or one over half and the whole and the same answer you will get two Hertz. Okay, good. Next, this is between the center of the ripple tank to the edge is how long? 40 centimeters. Determine the time taken for the wave front to travel from the center, okay, of the tank to the edge. Yes, what we are going to do? How we can, how we are going to find the time? Yes, tell me, Ashima. Tell me what, uh, what is the formula that I will going to use it to find the time for the wave to travel the 40 centimeters. I'm listening. I'm waiting for your chat. Now we know that speed equal distance over time. That means time equal distance over speed. And the distance it's 40 centimeter divided by the speed. We need to find the speed first. Uh-huh, excellent, excellent, excellent. So speed equal frequency multiplied by wavelength and the frequency, which is two Hertz, we just find it out multiply by the wavelength, which is eight. And the answer will be how much? 16 centimeter per second. This 16, I'll substitute it here. So 40 divided by 16, exactly. And the answer, it will be 2.5 meters per second. Why 42? Why it's 40? It's not 41 or 42. The distance is 40. Check if you please, okay. So the distance, the, the distance, it's 40 centimeters and the speed is 16 meter per, centimeters per second. So 40 divided by 16, it will be 2.5 watt seconds. Okay? No problem, no problem. Any question here? Thank you, Ibrahim. Okay. Next. Now, in this question, what do we have to do? Question seven. It wasn't a homework, but it talks about reflection of the water waves. A small object S is dipped repeatedly into water near a flat reflecting surface. A figure below given what? And an instantaneous view from above of the position of the part from the wave edge wave produced. Okay, so we have a dipper that keep what hitting the water surface like this and make what water waves, and we have what uh, a, a barrier or something that reflect the waves. Okay, on the same previous figure, put a clear dot on the point from which the reflection edge waves appears on, uh, to come, label the dot as R. Now, now since we are talking about reflection, okay, and we didn't talk about reflection of uh, light or sound yet, we are talking about reflection of water waves. Now, the image of any reflection, the image of any reflection, it will be exactly same distance as the what, as the object from the reflecting surface. What that means. Okay. How far is this point, the source from the surface? Let's say half centimeter, 0 0.5 or 0 0.4. So what that means? That means the image of this source, it will be beyond or behind the reflecting surface by the same distance. How far it is from here to here? It will be exactly from here to here and this point I will call it what R, and this is where I will put the dot. I will start. Can I do it like this? No, it's better 
to do it by using what? Your ruler, okay? To be more accurate. Look here, Yashabab, Shum Na'ma. I'll bring my tools, for example, my ruler, okay? And I'll put it here, okay? Okay, I'll put my ruler, for example, at five or six centimeters, okay? Exactly perpendicular to where? To the reflecting surface, so the angle here is 90 degrees, okay? طيب. Then what I will do, I'll measure how far it, this surface from the point that we are talking about it, and I'll make the same distance to the other side, half centimeter, okay? to the other side, I'll measure how far it is from here to here, it's half centimeter. I'll measure the same distance on the other side, it will be half centimeter, and I will label my point on it, okay? If you, uh, if you know how, what to do, okay, if you, are, if you did it already, okay, send it, uh, wait a moment, okay, because we are going to continue, okay? So this is our point somewhere here, this is what our image, okay? This is what our image. Fine. This is the first step. This is our, our image. Then what they ask, draw re the, what? The reflected -ish portion of the section of the three waves as shown. Now this wave is supposed to continue like this. And this wave is supposed to continue like this. And the same thing here, like this. But they reflect. They what? They reflect. How am I going to draw? The reflection, I will use my compass. Show yourself how can you do, use your compass? I'll put my needle here, okay? And my uh, pencil here, okay? I put my needle on the same point as R and the pencil. I put it three times, once here, and once here, and once here. I keep open it, okay? So I put this, okay, hold on. Like this, okay. Now I put my needle, okay, on the point R. I put my pencil on, on whenever I'm drawing here, okay. Exactly, like this. Then what? I'll draw my R. This is first arc, I will not continue here. I will not continue here, this is my mistake. Okay, خلينا نعيدها. Okay, this is like this. I'll draw like this. This is the first one. I repeat it on the Second wave here. Okay, then I'll draw like this. Then I'll repeat it where on the third wave, like this. Then I will draw the third reflection. To check that your answer is correct, to check that if your answer is correct, this point, it has to, to meet here and here. The wave that you draw it, it has to meet the wave on the other side here and where, and on the other side like this here, okay? This is the answer of this question. If you did it already, okay, by using your compass, Send me the answer, okay? Yeah. I'm waiting for a couple of seconds to send me the answer, yeah.